Here's uh, Drake. Are you there? Yes, sir. All right. Hi, Drake. How are you? Jen would like to talk to you. <laughs> All right. Uh, I just wanted to say, I want to say it has to be like an official debate, but just wanted to fairly take turns with each other talking. Uh, Sorry, what, what was that? I just wanted to uh, make sure like we both had fair conversation, or like we could both have our fair points. Did you listen to the last call? Yeah. Uh, I was listening a little bit. You were listening a little bit. Did you think it was fair, fairly fair? Yes. Okay. Okay. So, um, you know what? We're running out of time here. We've got some more callers on the line. So, why don't you go ahead and, and I guess, uh, tell us what you want to talk about. All right. Uh, it's agreed atheism doesn't have a burden of proof, right? Uh, it's the rejection of claims that haven't met their burden of proof. If something is proven, an atheist should accept the claim, or they would be maybe possibly unscientific. Uh, for an atheist to disbelieve something that isn't proven is okay. It's agreed there is no claim of which is evidently true of which atheism currently disagrees with. So, I want to say... Asking to receive the Holy Spirit, then maybe being filled with emotion, then falling down. What causes this? What causes this phenomenon? Um, I think that's pretty well understood. Is it's an emotional reaction to um, basically a social situation. Um, when this happens in, for example, in church, uh, there's an expectation. Um, that people are going to receive the Holy Spirit and that they're going to behave in a certain way. Um, and usually people that, that undertake this ritual have observed it many times. Um, and there's a fair amount of social pressure in some congregations for people to do this. It gets back to the last call. And that is, somebody is told, hey, you're going to be filled with the Holy Spirit. They pray, they, get, they have this feeling, and then they fall over. And you're saying, how do you explain that? Well, let's pretend that I don't have any explanation for it at all. But I can look at the possible, or at least proposed, explanations. One is that it's a natural response you know, that's not tied to anything specific about the religion, because we see this in all kinds of different religions and even non-religions. Two, um, we could say that, oh, they were in fact filled with the Holy Spirit, and that's what caused them to fall down. Now, we've got two proposed explanations. How do you figure out which one is correct? All right, right. Uh, I would say it's because be, because it is worldwide and happens all the time, and that most people accept it and explain it as their own evidence as it being from the Holy Spirit or God. I would say because they ask to receive the Holy Spirit. And then being filled with it, or at least filled with emotion, maybe being filled with emotion, then falling down to know that what causes this. So when I'm at the craps table and I've got money on a four, and I, and I plead for a four and I roll the four, is that divine intervention? No. Okay, so you're willing to say that's not divine intervention. And yet you're saying that because somebody asked for the Holy Spirit and they think they've received it, that they therefore must have. I would say most evidence currently, it seems, at least seems to point more towards the source being God. Okay. How, what evidence? How, how do you point towards God asking, as the source? Asking, asking to receive the Holy Spirit and then falling down. How is that evidence all, that... All the world all the time? Wait a minute. Around the world all the time? Please fill me with the Holy Spirit right now. And me too. Please. No, nope, didn't well, happen. Know, just, and you know what? Uh, you know what? It didn't happen for the decades that I was a Bible-believing Christian either. You know, it's fine that you can say this sort of thing happens, but when you exaggerate, we're going to point out how silly that is. Some people don't experience motion sickness. Yes, some people yeah, don't, don't experience motion sickness. Correct. Other people do, and we can give them Dramamine and other drugs. Well, not only that, right, but... So maybe some people, I don't, maybe some people aren't capable of experiencing it while some people are. And actually, it seems like most people 
if you I, I do observations, people see it happen all the time. Okay, so when, when, when we've exposed that you don't have any way to tell the difference between whether it's the Holy Spirit or not, now you come up with an ad hoc hypothesis that it's still the Holy Spirit, it's just that there's some of us who can't possibly experience it. How do you know that's Correct. true? And, and, and by the way, is that, is that in keeping with your religious teaching? I mean, it, does, it, do you think that God can reach anybody? Or did he just make uh, me so that I can't have that experience? I mean, I believe that some, at least, well, I know, I've been to church for like years, and I believe you have too. You was, I know you went to church for a long time, Matt, but uh, yep. I'm sure you observed yourself, people asking to be filled with the Holy Spirit, and then falling down, and most people in my churches and churches are really. on TV. I know I went to church, and I've seen it every time I went to church. People always fall down. Yeah, and and so and so you're going to a church where the norm is for people to fall down, and I went to a church where that wasn't the norm. Yeah, I, in my church that was definitely not the norm. So it's definitely not happening everywhere. In fact, if you had fallen down in my church, the one I went to, then someone would have called nine one one to get you an ambulance because that was not normal in my church. Now I've been to I have been to other churches. I've been to Pentecostal churches where they'll Same speak here. in tongues and flop around on the floor. Um, All right. Okay. I, I understand you believe that it might not be true, but it's true. They definitely have no. that happen like every day. Okay. Churches all around the world. Yes, we know that people have this experience, and they claim that the source of this experience is the Holy Ghost. The question is, what evidence do you have that that's actually true? Well, my point is, is that the most evidence, that's how I wrote it down, oh, uh, like I said, even if there is an else other, like, other than it being God, all evidence currently at least seems to point more towards the source being God. Not, no, not it that doesn't. I've met my first proof. Okay. There's, more, there's how, no evidence that, 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 that that's true. How can, how can you say that the evidence points towards God? Because, that's what I was going to say. Not only is there evidence, but it's satisfactory evidence because you ask to receive the Holy Spirit first. So it will point to God after you've actually fell down and possibly even been filled with so much emotion if we were to test it and then find, yes, there is emotion involved because being filled with the Holy Spirit. Uh, so, are, are you familiar with a guy uh, named Jerry DeWitt? I mean, uh, most most times people listen to music or what other occasions do people fall down so much at church or any other places or any other places where people just fall down? Why is it a good thing that people fall yeah. down? Uh it just what happens. I was going to read it on the Wikipedia page about it, too. Yeah, I understand. Oh, yeah. There's all kinds of stuff. Let me ask you this. If there is a God, okay, and there's all kinds of people who believe in this God, and they think they believe in the same God, and Church A, when they're filled with the Holy Spirit, they just feel good but don't fall down, and Church B, when they think they're filled with the Holy Spirit, they start speaking in tongues, and in Church C, when they think they're filled with the Holy Spirit, they fall around and flop on the floor and fall down. What kind of dick does this God have to be to not actually provide actual evidence to everybody else that he exists, rather than just making people appear to do crazy, unconnected things while they're in church? Well, I mean, if people ask to be filled with the Holy Spirit and their body gets taken over, what more evidence is there needed? <laughs> what more evidence is needed? I tell you what, I think yeah. you answered your own question. Thanks a lot for the call, Drake. Uh, because wow. if, if your conclusion is that you really just don't need any more evidence from that, um, you don't care that much about the truth or how to find yeah. it. Well, my question about Jerry DeWitt was that Jerry has talked about this before, specifically with speaking in tongues, and that is that um, it's a learned behavior. And, you know, you learn by seeing this in church over and over again. So it's, there's no supernatural explanation or anything. There's nothing mysterious about this. All right. People learn how to do this. 